and welcome back in, in a new episode of From the Depths, in a tutorial episode which I will be showing you how to make an AI. Okay, so firstly you need to build a really basic craft with some propellers on the back, small or big, it doesn't matter, and also some turning propellers or a rudder, which you can place at the back, which is in the water tab, and rudder, uh, flip that a bit, and yeah. Firstly, I'm going to build a really basic naval AI. So firstly, place down the AIA fr mainframe, which is in the AI tab, and then press on the mainframe and place it down. Then card slots and AI, just place that down. Uh, turn off the mirror and click on the naval AI, place that down. And all of the normal options should be good for a really basic ship. You can change it if you want for the broadside angle or when to start the broadside. The important thing that you need is at least one or for one for a really small ship, one of those general purpose processing cards. You need them to use detection systems, otherwise if you place down too many of these detection systems, they'll weaken over time, So, which is why you don't want. Okay, so now let's build a basic engine. For now, I'll just build an RTG, just to show you off how all this works. So you need an RTG, a radio, a radio isotope thermoelectric generator, which is just an RTG and now uh, at least one battery the more the better and one electric engine and remember to connect it to the battery and you don't need these connected up so they can be separate not touching each other okay so now let's test it out by spawning in a really basic enemy for example the marauder and i froze the game so my vehicle wouldn't die and if you want to freeze the game just press f11 and so now okay i've turned this ai off now f11 again to unfreeze it and Yep, it's moving. So it's going to go up to him because the broadside range isn't that long. So it's going to go up to him. So as you can see, it now works. But remember that you need these back propellers and at least a rudder or these turning propellers. So now we are going to build a plane with the same raft. I'll leave it with this one. So now go into the air tab and get where are the ailerons and place them on the... Oh, have the orange section looking back so you don't I think yeah that should be good enough I'll have two layers of these and now get normal wings and if you want to fill something in just press F and remember that uh, when you fill it something in it doesn't mirror on both sides which is quite annoying so now I need where is it a tailplane place that down Doesn't need to be too long. Make it look sort of presentable and yeah, that should be okay for now. Just add a bit of sort of support. And yeah, that should be good. So now I'll place down a engine. So this time I'll place down a fuel engine. Uh, just to show you off how to build one, at least a really basic one. So place down some crankshafts. Now get some cylinders, connect up, oh, remember to mirror it by pressing N. Now get some exhaust, some corner pipes, and yeah, that should be good. Now to make your engine stronger, add some carburetors, and to make it a bit more fuel efficient, add some superchargers all around these uh, carburetors and to make this engine run you need where is it fuel in resources fuel storage and place down a couple of those yeah that should be good okay so now it's time for the actual engines of the thing so actually I'll place down the, the square one so now make it look a bit better add some and if you will be placing it in the middle try to make the Providing a hundred percent instead of fifty or less, because here zero percent isn't the best. But when they're e when they're like this, should be okay. Okay, so now it's time for a basic AI. So place down the mainframe, just like with the water one. Place down a card slot. I'll turn off mirror and place down an area one. And you can also place down a propulsion balancing so, well, your vehicle will be a bit more stable. And try to place the wings behind or in front of the center of mass, which is this 
white looking like thing. And if you shrink, want to shrink everything can, so it can look like this, just press P. So you can see that way, and my wings are behind it, which is good. And now we need some downwards facing thrusters. And remember to put that on the front, or as far as possible from the center of mass, which is that weight thing. Now place some side thrusters. And also we need to change the AI. The best uh, settings, I'd say, are these ones because the vehicle doesn't roll or it just stays still and the altitude I'd say about 100 to 150 or depends what type of build you want so let's see if the vehicle works and yes as you can see the vehicle is going up it should stop soon yep and it's going a bit down and yeah now it's stable at about 150 60 yeah so lastly you should also have some balloons just in case if your vehicle goes down into the water so firstly do it activate when altitude is less than click on balloon deployers activate balloons and let's do about altitude 10 and now go into the second automated control block and also these control blocks are in control and then automated control blocks just place two of them down now activate when altitude greater than balloon deployers and deactivate and let's do about 20 so now in in the center of mass where the weight thing is now place down some balloons which are in air now hot air balloon deployers and depending on how big or how much your ship is weighing then you might have to add more but i think six should be way enough for this ship i meant plane. okay so now we are going to build a land vehicle which is quite easy just an engine and some wheels and an ai and then that's it so now the land AI, add that onto the card slot and also let's add on a general purpose processing card and some wheels. So wheels are in air and so wheel power, oh, remember to mirror it, oh wrong side, I just place that all along and the front ones make them Let's to wheel turning, so we'll turn. And so let's see if it works. So let's spawn in a marauder. It's on land, but it doesn't matter, just to test it out. Now turn it off, and remember, if you want to pause the game, just press F11. And if you want to make the game start up, start up again, just F11 again. And, yep, it moves. So, yep, it's working, which is good. And remember, you don't need really a big engine for this because it's just wheels so they don't take too much power so you can uh, just use this little RTG engine or electric engine okay so I think that I'm going to end this here thank you for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed and learned something new from this video and I hope to see you in the next one and tell me in the comments section below if you want me to make any more tutorials such as maybe advanced cannons or cram cannons or missiles or whatever you want or maybe even a basic ship or plane or tutorial I don't know just tell me in the comment section below